girl hey this your girl Nesca, and welcome back to my channel so today you guys i'm coming in with a dollar tree haul and a walmart haul so i'm gonna combine the two because i just have like a a few items from the from both stores so i just thought i just put them together Let's just make one little big old haul okay so how are you guys doing today myself i am doing just fine and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you'll know each and every time that your girl upload a video. So we're going to go ahead and get into the Walmart stuff first. Okay, the first thing I want to show you guys is about great value. It's the Everyday Soft Facial Tissue. You get 160 tissue and they are the two-ply white tissue. And they are soft and strong and compared to Kunex. So I went on and got me a box of these. And then next, you guys, I love these things, which you saw, these, which you saw me from time to time. Uh, show you guys these here Dove Moisturizing Hand Sanitizer Wipes. They have aloe and eucalyptus scent. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. And it's an eight hour moisturizing. It's like 99.9% .9 effective against many germs. 100% plant based uh, fibers. And this here have like 20 wipes in it. And um, I didn't find a jar, no jar that I normally would get. They didn't have any of those. They were just like out. But I'm going to have to go back soon. These here will hold me into the weekend because I got to work. So, yeah, um, this here little pack should hold me. And I think this little pack right here was like $2 or something or whatever. But, yeah, I love these things. Smell amazing. Everybody always asks me, what is that you using? It smells so doggone good. I said some hand sanitizer wipes. But, but, anyway, the next thing I want to show you guys is by Gang. I got these draw sheets. You get 60 sheets for like... Two dollars and something or whatever, and they are the game original. I love these here uh fabric sheets. They are like my favorite fabric sheet. This 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 is my go to. I, uh, this here is like a staple in my house. These games here. And then next, you guys, like always, this is the first time that I purchased me some of these since I've been here. It's the Clear American Pineapple Orange. You know, I used to show you guys these here all the time. These are like my favorite go to drinks. So I be I will be taking these to work. I need to go back to uh to the Dollar Tree and give me some of those ramen noodles that's in the bowl. Oh my God, they are like so amazing. I was craving one, which I already eat it. That's the reason. That was the main reason why I had went to the Dollar Tree is to uh, get me one of those ramen noodles that was in the bowl. I got the hot and spicy, the shrimp uh, flavor and, and, and I done ate it already. So I need to go back so I can take them to work because it's like easy peasy. An easy uh, little snack or a little quick little meal so next you guys i did purchase these here they are the great value disinfected disinfecting wipes they kill cold and flu viruses i got a little nephew so sometimes he want to pee on the seat okay and then not only would i use it to uh in the bathroom or whatever i will be using it at my at the computer that i use the phone that i use and then too i definitely want to have something like, when I go on my break, my 15 minutes, I, you get two 15 minutes and you get one 30 minutes. And when I'm gone, somebody else have to answer the phone, answer both of the phones. Because I have two phones that I have to answer. And so, I, when I get back, I definitely want to wash them off. I'm going to definitely wash them off. I'm going to wash them off when I get there. And I'm going to wash them off when I leave uh, to take my break off. And then next, you guys, my favorite, another staple in my house. Well, I ain't in my house, but, you know, something that I use, another, a staple in my life. So, these here are the Zero Splash. They are the bleach pack. Just throw it in the washer, okay? These here are by Clorox. You get 12 of these. Next, you guys, I showed you guys this here once before. This is another staple. This here is by Dr. Teal. This here is the foaming bath with pure Epsom salt. It's the calming and serenity. So I like this. It smells like amazing. And then too, I think I told you guys once before, the water here is like very, very hard. It's nothing like the water where I come from. It's drinkable in, in everything in the town where I come from. But this water here is just so hard, I don't even drink it. The last item that I purchased at uh, Walmart is the new and improved formula. It's for the perfect edge. It's the 48-hour extra firm hole. This is the cream of nature. It's the organ oil. Perfect edge, extra firm hold. And like I said, it's supposed to last, supposed to last for 48 hours, extra firm hold. So, yeah, I got me some uh, edge control. Because I definitely need some edge control. Because I hadn't had a perm in a while, but I got to keep the edges looking somewhat, somewhat decent, okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Walgreens. I just got like one little item from Walgreens. 
And I went on and picked up these Persil, which I showed you guys this here a lot. This is another staple that I just, it's just something that I just like and I just love. It's so easy to use. I make my life easy, okay? <laughs> Nothing difficult here, okay? So, yeah, these here are the Persil Pro Clean Discs. You get 16 of these. They are the stain removal, long-lasting freshness in fiber care. And it's the deep clean. So, I got the original. And I got these here out of Walgreens. This here was a different Walgreens that I went to, and they was like eight fifty nine. So they was like nine ninety one with the tax and everything. Thank you guys. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the Dollar Tree. So let me show you guys what I got. Hey, you guys. So I really didn't get much at the Dollar Tree. So the first thing I want to show you guys that I got from the Dollar Tree are these uh, Brim snack food. They are the fried pork rinds. Y'all know I love these things right here. They are so fresh. They're always fresh. Every time I uh, buy these, they are like always fresh. So I opened them up and had to get me some. <laughs> had to get me some, okay? And then next, you guys, I bought this Glade uh, spray. It's the Tranquil Lavender Aloe scent. It smells amazing. Okay? And then next, you guys, I went on and picked up these Kosher Spears. I want to make me some... Uh, kool-aid pickles okay so yeah i think i might try this out and show you guys how it look at the end of this video on how i will be making my uh kool-aid pickles so yeah so i went on and got these uh kosher uh spears and then the next thing you guys i went on and picked up this here a uh, running cap it's a one size fit all and this color here is just so freaking cute and this here is the burgundy color they did have like a light blue and another light grayish light grayish light bluish type of color they did have the red one in the in the red ones was wasn't in a packet but this was was in a packet that's the main reason why i got this here and it fit good on the head but you know i got that little hump upside my head call myself trying to design my little twist here so yeah and this hat feel good in it so yeah so like on a bad hair day and I just want to run somewhere, make a quick move or whatever. And I do have some shoes, some slides for this summer that will go great with this hat. I like my little ball caps. I like to wear them in the summertime. So I got me a white one, a black one, and a burgundy one, and a gray one, which I got here on the dough knob over here. And the next thing I want to show you guys is about Nutella. This is the first time that I'm about to try some Nutella. Since Nutella been out, I've never tried it never do you hear me so what caught my attention because of the size of the bottle so if i didn't like it you know this here wouldn't be a waste because of the fact that it is a small bottle so this is what i got right here it was something else that they had like a little mini version of something so yeah that's why i got this here mini nutella because i want to give it a try i never tried it or nothing so it had like the little uh gold seal on it and so next and last of of everything that I'm uh, about to show you guys it, from this uh, Walmart and Dollar Tree haul. Y'all, this here is the star of the show. Y'all know I love to have something that's going to be the star of the show. Because this here really like caught my attention. So while I was in Dollar Tree, you know, I was going to browse around and look after they didn't have what I want. Cause okay, y'all. So let's get to the start of the show of this Dollar Tree part of this haul. So y'all, I went to Dollar Tree. And like I said, I was browsing around. And as I was browsing around, I found this here large two-piece men top and bottom thermal base layer set. Okay, it's just like some thermal that you wear up on your clothes like when it's real, real cold. I wish I would have had this last week, but I got it in the large. And I did open it up to look at it, you know, so I can give a good review on it. Um, it's a little bit too big. I should have got it in a size of medium. I don't know what I be thinking about when I be getting stuff in the large, okay? So this is like a whole nother day of me doing this here part of the video because I thought I had uh, included this here in the video and I did. And then I wanted to do a review on those pickles. I told y'all I was going to make some Kool-Aid pickles and then me testing out that uh, Nutella my first time trying out some Nutella. But anyway, back to this here. And you can, you got like a little hole right here. You can feel the texture of it and everything. It said, keeps your body warm and comfortable. It's the Polar Extreme. As you can see right here under the bottom. So yeah, it's the Performance Wicking Warm Brush Lining. It was $5. And it's slightly imperfect. So uh, let me take it out the bag so I can show you guys how it looks. Okay, so these are the bottoms to it, and they kind of like thin, like I told you guys I did, uh, uh, do, I mean, I did open it to, uh, to, 
I did open it so I can check it out to see how it looks so I can do a good review on these. And like I said, they are really thin. I can pretty much see myself in the camera with these uh, pants. But there'll be some good thermos for like when it's get cold. If we still got January and February to go in parts of March too. So yeah. So I thought I'd go ahead and get these. I think I'm going to go back and see can I find me a medium. I don't even think it was a medium in there. Was it a medium? No, it wasn't. I don't even think it was a medium off inside of... I don't even think it was a medium period. You feel me? So yeah, they are the long ones. They go, they do go down to my foot. <laughs> Cause I hadn't tried them on, but I did uh look at them pretty good. Look them over. I did look them over pretty good. So they are the large. So let me show you guys the uh top. Okay, so this is the top to the thermal. They are long sleeve. So but it does uh go under my butt, <laughs> under my bottom. <laughs> Cause that ain't what I feel to say, but yeah, uh, yes, long sleeve, size large, yeah, and I think it's gonna be great for uh, like if we get another uh cold cold day or cold night like we did uh last week. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into this review of me trying the Nutella and making me some uh pickles. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this uh. The hot and spicy pickles. I got a couple of ingredients that I'm going to add to it and see can I make some hot and spicy pickles. Okay, so I'm here in the room and I'm going to do uh, all my reviews here in the room. Because my nephew in there, he's playing his game and so I didn't want to be in the kitchen because he might interrupt me or whatever. But he do have his own personal kitchen set in here. So I'm going to use this kitchen set here, okay? So yeah, uh, so let me get everything organized and get you guys turned around so you guys can uh, watch me uh, do a review. Uh, on these uh, hot and spicy pickle, but first, but first, let me go ahead and do a review on this Nutella first, because this is the first time that I ever purchased, ever tasted the Nutella. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off and get me a spoon, honey, and I'm gonna get this Nutella a try for the first time. Okay, so I'm gonna get about that much of it. Mmm, it got a nice smell to it. Oh my. Oh my God. It tastes like it got some peanut butter in it. Chocolate. Oh my God. Real good. <laughs> I know I'm gonna eat the thing up, honey. I done hit pan already in this Nutella. I can taste the peanut butter in it. it oh my God, it tastes so good. So I will be trying this here more often. I will get me a bigger jar. I ain't gonna say no. Well, I'll probably get me like a, a bigger size jar just a little bit bigger than this just to give it a try. Or I might just get some more of this size here at the Dollar Tree, okay? So yeah, y'all, we will finna move on into the next review on me making some um, hot and spicy Kool-Aid. Coolicles is what they call them. Coolicles, honey. They're gonna be hot and spicy. Coolicles, coolicles. So we, I'm gonna give everything. I'm gonna turn everything around so we can get into these um, Kool Aid pickles. Okay, you guys. It done start thundering and lightning, so I'm gonna try to speed up with this here uh, video. So I got everything set up here on how to how I'm going to make my uh, Kool Aid pickles. I have my cup of sugar here. I don't want too much sugar in them because I don't want them to be too sweet. And I think I'm going to add a little salt to it, too. You know what I'm saying? And then, okay, these are the Dollar Tree pickles right here. They are the kosher spears right here. And then I got me some uh, tropical, tropical Punch Kool-Aid for sugar. And then, you know what? I think I'm going to add like a little... No, I'm not going to add no salt to it. I'm not going to add no salt to it. But anyway, I got this cup because I'm going to put my, my brine from my pickles into this here and my uh sugar and my kool-aid into this and mix it all up together okay okay y'all so we're gonna go ahead and get into it so like i said this thing that i'm using here is my nephew little kitchen that his mom had got him i don't know why she got him a kitchen but he got a kitchen so since it's a kitchen and i'm trying to make some stuff so we're gonna go ahead and use this here thing like i said i do have my kosher um spear pickles and i do have this cup what i'm going to use to put my brine and my Kool-Aid and my sugar in, and then I do have this little straw that's still in the pack, as you can see. And then, um, like I said, we use some Tropical Punch Kool-Aid, and we got some sugar. 
right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop the top to this uh, pickles. Woo! And we're gonna go ahead and put all the juice off inside of here. Okay, so we're gonna set the pickles to the side. Put the top back on. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the tropical punch. I'm gonna try to be a little quiet because it's like thunder and lightning outside and raining as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add tropical punch Kool-Aid. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the sugar. Let's see. And see, I'm going to look here at the bottom, and then it'll show me the amount of Kool-Aid. Because I don't want it that sweet, you know what I'm saying? Because I really do love some sour and spicy pickles, so I don't want it too sweet. But I'm going to give it a little kick, because I'm going to add an extra ingredient into it. So I'm going to go ahead and open my straw, and I'm going to taste it because it's just for me because I'll be the only one eating these. And I did make some uh, pickles before, some Kool-Aid pickles before, but I wanted a little kick to my pickles, you know what I'm saying? And which I will show you guys the pickles that I had made prior to these pickles here. So I'm going to taste it and see if it's sweet. Okay, I can add a little bit more sugar to it. I might as well go and add all of it. So as you can see right here, the amount of sugar is in it. So I'm going to stir that into it. So I'm going to give it another taste. Like I said, these here pickles are just mine. Okay. I like that. I like that. It's sour, salty. Got a little hint of sweet to it. I decided out that I want to go ahead and add this salt and pepper pack to it too. So these are my other ingredients that I'm going to add to it. My salt and pepper. And I still got to stir it up some more because some of the sugar is not dissolved enough. So, I got my trash can down there. So, I'm going to get this here dissolved. Get this stirred up real good. And then I'm going to taste test it again. Okay. I'm liking it. The star of the show. Y'all know I'm always got to. Oh, I'm hot. I'm sweating, y'all. The star of the show is going to put some crystal hot sauce in it. This is like my favorite hot sauce. I rarely use the uh, the original Louisiana, although it said Louisiana Pure on here. But I don't use the original Louisiana. I always use this here crystal hot sauce. So I'm going to put a little bit of this hot sauce in there and see how this tastes. But I'm just going to put a little bit in it and taste it until I'm satisfied, okay? But I'm going to let you guys watch me do this. Okay, they're probably about like six, about five, six, seven drops. <laughs> That's what I say. And I'm using my little McDonald's cup from when I went to McDonald's the other day. So let's taste it. I need some more hot sauce. I'm just going to shake it in there. Just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. If this don't work, I got some jalapenos in there. And I'm going to add some of that jalapeno juice up in here. Do you feel me? Yeah. Um, 
<clears throat> I feel the kick. Let me go get some jalapeno sauce. I'm gonna add me some jalapeno sauce in it, y'all. Well, I meant to say some jalapeno juice. Ooh, my lips and tongue is just as red. But yeah, I meant to say some jalapeno juice. Y'all, I thought I was recording. Oh my god, duh. I was uh thought I was showing you guys this Mount Olive jalapeno uh slicer, which I already added some into the uh juice. I add just a little bit more just to prove that I did because I already put uh some in here already. But I add a little bit more because I didn't show you guys that. I thought I was recording and didn't show you guys. Mmm. Oh my god, y'all. This this is perfect. The perfect taste is salty, it's sweet, it's hot. I like that. Mm hmm So I'm going to get it stirred up real good. <coughs> it got a good kick to it, baby. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. You feel me? So now, <coughs> it got a good, good kick to it. Look how good and red it is, y'all. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour this here. Back into my pickles. Push my pickles down. And then I'm going to let this sit for a few hours. And then uh, I'll come back and uh, Try them out. And I did make some just some regular Kool-Aid Kool-Aid pickles here. Oh, they've been in the refrigerator for a while. Let me show you. For a long time. I made this here. I made these here for the house. Right here. But these here gonna be for me because they got a little kick to them. And I don't know if everybody like kicks and <laughs> hot and spicy and salty. They don't. They like everything sweet around here. My niece and my nephew. They done got too soft. I done had these. I, these have been made about over a month ago. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the longer they sit, the better off they are. That is true. They did say that when I read up on it on how to make the Kool-Aid pickles. The longer they sit, the better off they are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But these are the ones that I made over a month ago. But we will test these out within a couple hours. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let them sit in the top of the refrigerator. In the top. For just a little bit. I'm going to shake it up for a little while. Put it in the top, let it get good and cool, and then let it sit on the bottom, and then I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to uh, do a review, because I think they'll be, I think they'll give what it's supposed to be gay, you know, within a couple hours, okay? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you guys. Let us, like, so eat up this part. As soon as I let those pickles there set for a little bit. Then I'm going to come back and do a review and let you guys know how they taste. Okay, you guys. So, it's like a whole day and then some that I'm coming back to try these pickles that I made last night. So, here they go, y'all. And they've been sitting in the refrigerator all this time. And I know uh, you're supposed to keep them in the refrigerator like three, four days. You're supposed to shake them every day. Shake them as much as you want to. But, uh, yeah, but I just want to try them out see how they taste. You know, because I don't want to prolong this uh, video because I need to get it up and running. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to go ahead and try one and let you guys see how it look. Which I showed you guys some pickles that I had made previously. And they've been in the refrigerator for a while and they taste amazing. But I just wanted like a little kick to it. I wanted mine to be like a little spicy, a little hot and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and try these uh, Dollar Tree pickles. 
And so this is the first time that I ever tried these here uh, pickles from the uh, Dollar Tree. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I already got my little pan here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it back up. Oops, as I was opening it, y'all, the, the paper came off my pickles. Ooh. So now y'all can get a good, 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 good look at it. So let's pull one out. And like I said, I know they're not ready yet, but ooh, they look ready, don't they? But because you're supposed to let them sit in the refrigerator for X amount of time. So, but I do want to try it out, like I said, because I don't want to prolong this video. So I got me a little container here. So this is how it looks, y'all. It's still uh, green in the back. And like my other uh, pickles, they um they red all over. And I, so I'm going to want to give this a try. Mmm. The kick for me. Mm -hmm. mm. <coughs> mm. They sweet, sour, salty, hot, spicy. I like all of them. And then they're good and cold too. Because I just put them out the freezer. Right I took them out a little bit before I started this video. Because I ain't want to be too cold to my teeth. Mmm. Chicken shell. Mmm. 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 Man, that's so good. You better get you some of these. Spicy pickles from Vanessa. I have no mm, nerve. Yeah. What, what is this? A pickle mukbang? Mmm, 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 mmm. See when I bite off of it? All the Kool Aid coloring hadn't just went all up and through it. You know what I'm saying? That's why they got to sit a little bit more. But it's still giving what it's supposed to be giving. It's still giving cool liquors. Cool liquors. Mm -hmm. It's giving. Mm. They're trying to cut. That chocolate punch Kool Aid is so good. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. mm. This is the, these here better than the ones I made the last time. These are the first ones here. See, now it's just all up and through. Even the back is red. And I think I got two left. This one in this, one in the one in the bottle, one in the jar. So I got two of these left. But I kind of like the one that I just made because it's giving spice. Like I like it. But it ain't too bad of spice though. But see how it looks once it's sitting there for a long time. Can y'all see that? Yeah, but it's really good. And I got these hip pickles here from uh Walmart. They the Mount Olive. Pickles, but those ones that I got from Dollar Tree taste good too. But um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and eat this pickle since I got it out. Mm. Yeah, the, the longer they sit in the refrigerator, the more that uh, Kool Aid and stuff get into it, get into the pickle. Got this bitter sweet moment. If it had like a little spice to it, it'd be good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so oh, yeah, I just wanted to come in and show you guys my pickles. Can y'all see the color of the two? 
This here is just straight up Kool-Aid, sugar, and pickle juice. And this right here got my little spice that y'all saw me put into it. It made it uh, dark in color. But they both are really good. But I like the little kick that this one have. But yeah, um, if y'all tried these, let me know in the comments down below. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll know each and every time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So bye, girl, bye.